Alright, biggest toad in the whole entire universe. Whoa, 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 what do you want? Sorry about that. Now, what were you just saying? I'm part from the kitchen? I don't get it. Food gets on, you blame the chubby guy. Not nice. What, just a stew on the floor outside? No, I won't know anything about that. No, people spill stuff. And there's nothing in the drawer, so no need to look. You won't find a thing. Uh, you wouldn't mind if I check then. Several gourmet food magazines here, and one of them is an issue devoted to the food on the XS Express. Or of the XS Express, anyway. There's the large photo of Shashimi on the cover. His smile is just blinding. Is it now? There's something under the magazine! It's a galley pot! For some, and for some, an empty soup pot, this thing looks like it's like clean. For some strange reason, um, back in the kitchen it was golden, but here it's silver. I don't get that at all. No! Oh, I'm sorry, I ate it all! It was me! So, you are so enamored. Enamored of the stew that you wanted to seal it to devour more. And you saw the entire pot when the chef was stopping shallots. Answer! Yes, yes, that's right. I'm so sorry, but I was a brief moment of weakness. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Justice has been served. Very satisfying. May the cerebral crime never recur. And you, my dear sir. Yes, you, the etiquette facial hair. My keen sleeping in six identified you as the correct person to call this ruffian. Now, about that note in your room. Yes, I know of it. As a lone detective on this train, the conductor confided in me. But we cannot speak here. Find me in room six so that we may discuss this in private. Oh, and please return the pot to the chef if you could. I'm surprised you aren't the one that took it. Normally in mysteries like this, it's normally the detective who's the culprit. So yeah, that's a little something to think about. Giant mounds of cosmetics inside. Oh hey, it's Toodles from, uh, um, uh, she's from Glitzville. As a matter of fact, that Bob family that was back in room 8, they're from Glitzville too. Never really got to talk to them, did we? Here's a spectacular idea, whatever. I think, uh, that lady still calls Mario Gonzalez from, you know, uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, from Glitzville. What is with me? Several postcards and glossies featuring Zip Toad inside, because that's this dude, the Zip Toad. Hey, guy, getting falsely accused is a bummer, right? Don't I know it? Uh, let's, uh, take a look at Bella. I knew I knew him! That's Zip Toad, the movie star! We wouldn't go nuts for him! You know, he's hot and all, but he seems pretty suck up about being famous. I guess all celebrities are kind of like that. It's too bad, because I kind of liked him. <laughs> oh, did you now? So, uh, here's, like, the exit. That cannot open because the train is moving. So, you pretty much get sucked outside. Or is that only for a plane? If you open the door on a train, would you, like, get sucked outside? I always wonder that. Dick-ass phone. On the second day, there will be a brief stop at Riverside Station for fueling, followed by the arrival at our final destination of Pudgy Heights on day three. Fascinating. Okay, uh... This is the train's operation console. There are many small switches and levers here. Cool. Oh, yeah, so, some that came up. There, uh, apparently, there's some guy going around and sending people links in their personal messages, links to some website, and apparently, um, he's, uh, tricking them into going to that, into clicking that link, and, and some about some diabolical plan to seal their accounts and using them to make porn. Or something like that. Well, all, 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 I, all I know is he's trying to take people's accounts to make porn on them. So if you get any, like, small links or whatever in your personal messages, don't click them. Or else your account will be used to make porn. So you found the thief? Oh wait, I mean, the thief! I'm joyful. Okay, when I don't get, um, 
Why does he already have a galley pot on his um, on his shelf right right back there? That gold one. Well, I, I guess he had two or something. I guess he needs two to make his food. A gold one and a silver one, with gold one being better, because it's gold. Gold is normally better than silver, mate. Ah, oh, sir, you are the hero of my world. You have even brought my pot. It is empty, of course, but it is mine, and I love it. Thanks to you, from me. Here, I just... Here's just a little taste of my powerful gratitude. Please fake it. Oh, what was I but butcher this language so, so shameful? Please take it, I mean. You're not the only one, dude. Just how almost every person on YouTube does that. So yeah, the very the uh, very first star piece we get by helping someone. That and um star piece we get by helping people. Um, that's only seen in this dungeon right here. Aha! I have been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work on this last case, I must admit. However, I do not think the one you apprehended is our sticky, yummy malcontent. Malcontent, I guess. I deduce this from the lack of any incriminating clues in his room. In any case, I must say, I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. So it is decided then, I shall take you on as my new assistant. To re-irritate... <coughs> My name is Pennington. I'm a detective from Poshley Heights. I'm known in some circles as the penguin with the improbably large brain. Okay. You seem awfully retarded for someone with a large brain. I'm sure you have heard of me, so that is all I will say on the subject. Actually, I've never heard of you my whole life. And as for your name, wait, I demand you do not tell me. I shall deduce your identity. That mustache, that nose. Ho ho ho! All too easy! You, sir, are quite obviously the famed LUIGI, are you not? HA! Huh? No need to introduce yourself. I know all about the famous LUIGI. LUIGI doesn't wear yellow clothes. Wario wears yellow clothes. But, but I'm not Wario. I, I'm Mario just in Wario's clothes. I, I used to wear red clothes and blue overalls. But really, I, I, I'm Mario just in Wario's clothes. LUIGI... I, I'm, I'm not Luigi at all. I'm, I'm just Luigi's older brother. Alright? Now, about the threat. Our man has declared his intent to unify the train. A sticky, tasty explosion. That family of bob -ombs. They are deadly suspect. Yeah, explosion. bob -ombs. Get it? Now, Luigi, we will reduce this case to rudimentary facts and deduce the truth. You're a retard. So it's sunset now. I really like the sunset music, you know? Now we're gonna get talk to the bomb bombs, right? Right. Are you even listening? That's what I'm saying. He's our little bob. His present obviously needs to be much more expensive and not only gaudy. I mean, don't you think so? Because that way, clearly... Look, you can just read that, alright? Oh, and they are fighting about what to get me for my birthday. I'm so bored. I wish I'd brought my GBA. Well, that DS, that's pretty cool. I think we should get a little above the Advanced Letters Classic Series of Bob Umbery. Two words, cheap and boring. Think more luxurious, dear. Perhaps a car or a house. Bob is too small for such things called Bob. Something of your own social status. Not to mention Bob can't even drive a car considering the fact he has no arms. Whatsoever. He needs something that will further his education, not spoil him. Honestly. Who didn't want that for their birthday? Hey, I just said that. I don't want any of that stuff they're talking about. What do you want, a DS? Hey, mister. Are you a detective now equipping a champion? See there, my Gonzales. Well, so, thinking a detective I really want for my birthday? Sure, I'm a pro. Really? Cool. Okay, if you bring me what I really want, then I'll give you something in return. Alright, cool. Here's a hit. Starts with an A. Got it? Second hit. It's certain parts. It's autograph. Okay, you gotta give the autograph or something. I can hear everything that Felix's fighting about loud and clear from out here. One thing I heard was cute. The boy dreams of being a chain engineer someday. What an interesting dream for a rich little kid like that. <laughs> Ugh. Train engineer autograph. I think I know who he wants. person's autograph that he wants is... 